nicer the car, the bolder the driver. I guess all the money he saves on shampoo, he spends on his wheels. Sorry I yelled. Hey, let me make it up to you. Maybe for a drink. Ooh, that's tempting. But I'm married. I won't tell. To her. Yeah, and we're late for the big lesbian day parade, you know. The nighttime one. You guys aren't just getting off of work, are you? Yeah, but in all fairness, we did take a six-hour lunch. Hurry, get dressed. We met these cute guys that told us about this hot club, and we gotta get there right now before it's over. Oh, I don't know. I gotta get up early to do inventory at the store. You work in petites. How hard can it be to count those little things? JJ, I am trying to be good. <laughs> okay, how cute were the guys? Cute enough that I need to borrow something to wear. Oh, oh, oh. Sarah? Yeah? Where's that top? I like to wear dancing because it holds my boobs in place, but it has that flowy thing over the stomach, so I feel cute even when I'm bloated. Um, here. <gasps> but to be honest, it doesn't really hold your boobs in place. I know. <laughs> Ooh, it smells like perfume plus B.O. Hey, isn't that that new Paris Hilton fragrance? Hey! Sarah, why aren't you getting dressed? I have to get up for work. Honey, work is just what we do to pay for going out. <laughs> what about inventory? <gasps> you can count our drinks. I can't believe you guys talked me into this again. You're welcome! Oh, and the top is down? You know, I could probably go back to the house right now and get oh, something to my mom. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Remind me, why are we doing this again? Because we're horny. <laughs> I hope you didn't injure your briefcase because of me. No, that's okay. It has major medical. <laughs> You're lucky. My purse is an HMO. <laughs> JJ Hayden. I work at Banjaris Advertising on the 9th. Trevor Douglas. Well, have a good one. You too. Thanks again for uh, everything. Hi, JJ. You look gorge. Aw, so do you, Patrick. So has uh, Irene been sniffing around for me? I'm so late. Don't worry. I lied and told her you were in the copy room. Making copies. Genius! <laughs> Patrick, I love you so much. Oh, I love you more. Oh, but don't tell my fiance. She's on a jealous rampage. Just because I stay at baking instead of coming to bed, for some reason, Deb takes it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> Wait, it's the evil eye. Ah, and she's headed this way. Stole her a sec. Thanks. Love you, boy. Was that JJ? I didn't see anybody. Fine, play that game. If I find out you were covering, you will be penalized. <laughs> Morning, JJ. Hi, Irene. Oh, cute hair. <laughs> Thanks. FYI, if you hadn't been making copies, then you'd know that the new Buzz detergent meeting is set for Friday. So, how's that campaign coming along? We are really cooking on it. I mean, we've got a big idea. Very high concept. Uh, I'm excited. So, give me a preview. <laughs> I'm dying for your input, but we still want to dazzle, you know? It's a work in progress. <laughs> Hello, people. And hi to you, too, Irene. <laughs> Good mid-morning to you. <laughs> so, given the client meetings in two days, what's your best guesstimate as to your ETA? End of the day today? Yeah, sure. Tomorrow morning at the latest? <laughs> Today would be better than tomorrow. I want you to have plenty of time to assimilate my feedback and revise per my specifications and keep me in the loop. Please, thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, Irene, we'll be ready. Perfecto. <laughs> God, Irene is such a condescending control freak. We always do great work. How dare she criticize our non-existent ideas? So what is she trying to put her stank on now? The campaign we've been avoiding, which I lied and said we'd already nailed. <laughs> New buzz? Oh, God, detergent is so boring. Why don't we ever get any other fun products like alcohol or antidepressants? 
You know what'd be great? Antidepressant alcohol. <laughs> now I really don't feel like working. Ooh, but guess what? I met this hot guy in the elevator. His name, Trevor Douglas. And my new goal is to date him. <laughs> Trevor Douglas? Mm -hmm. It's Google time. <gasps> Yay! Okay. I don't know what it is about this guy, but the moment I met him, I knew I would Google him. <laughs> Oh, look, here he is, Trevor Douglas, president, Habitat Savings and Loan. Bank president. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hi, darling. How was your day at the bank? Oh, I did a lot of important stuff you wouldn't understand. But listen, some prominent banker guys are coming to dinner, so whip up a pot roast for 12 and freshen up and change into something nice. President. You can marry him, retire, and shop all day long. Ooh, but check him rowing crew in this wife beater. Yum. Ooh, and look, he volunteers as a mentor in the inner city. Aww. <laughs> uh, I can tell this relationship is good for me already. Well, you were the one who convinced Mr. Banderas the company shouldn't pay for working lunches. <laughs> Still, it would have been nice if they offered to bring back something for me. Of course not. The mean, popular girls never like me. I have no idea why I want to go out of my way to be cordial. That's odd. Cordial is so enticing. <laughs> Sorry, the popular girls were mean to me, too. Well, those bobbleheads are on shaky ground, going out. So obviously they're all ready with their presentation. <laughs> Which could be true. Which means they clearly don't care to incorporate any of my notes. <laughs> Fine, they're on their own. <laughs> Call new Buzz and move the meeting up. If the client catches them unprepared, oh well, that's what they get for cutting me out. <gasps> oh, if they got fired, I could hire my sister, Diana. <laughs> oh, together we would kick ass. Two of you. Wow. <laughs> and he volunteers as a mentor in the inner city. Oh. So, you'll never guess who I ran into at the newsstand near work. Todd. <gasps> you ran into Oops, I Did It Again, Todd? <laughs> After all this time? Yeah, JJ, you'll be so proud of me. I only did what we talked about. You killed him. <laughs> no. I started doing that affirmation that you taught me. You know, you have no power over me, you have no power over me, and I was surrounding myself with white light. <laughs> and then he notices me and looks totally panicked, so that was fun. <laughs> and so then, I walk over and I casually say, oh, hello there, Todd. And he is all stuttery, like, um, hi, 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 hi. So then, I turned and half smiled and walked off, just like Heather Locklear on a Melrose Place repeat. <laughs> That's it? The guy steals money from your ATM and you retaliate by giving him a snotty look? But I get to be the bigger person. Well, maybe I'm crazy, but I'd rather be the smaller person and get my money back. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, Sarah. Thank you. <clears throat> God, remember in high school that day in detention when Miss Lamb announced she was marrying Senor Parker? Oh, God. And we were like, that's not love, it's desperation. <laughs> And we made that pinky pack to hold out for the right person. We have someone truly worthy of us who accepts, accepts our, our wonderfulness, wonderfulness without being threatened or, or trying to change us. <laughs> Were you two in a cult together before I knew you? Oh my God, it's Todd. I can't believe he's calling. Don't you mean, oh no, it's Todd. How do I get rid of him? What? That is all that I am authorized to say, Todd. Sorry. White light. No power. Get it White in light. cash. Cash. No White light. Think she'll mind if I finish her tuna? No. Just... If I tell you something, you swear you won't tell anybody I told you? Because if Irene finds out, she will penalize me something fierce. How dare that evil fembot try and catch us with our pants down? 
Little does she know that we have <laughs> absolutely nothing. I can't believe we wasted an entire day. Although, we did get you some great silky underwear for your date with Trevor Douglas. <laughs> Wait, why are we laughing? We're screwed. I bet this is the time we're not going to come up with anything. Holly, we're going to lose our jobs. I'm going to wind up out on the streets homeless, and I can't fit all my crap into a shopping cart. You know what we need? Something to jumpstart our creativity. You mean like a smoothie? No. More like... You remember that time that we got stuck on that razor campaign and we got high and thought of dancing razors and wound up getting this office? Holly? No, I want to keep this office. But we're out of time. And it is called New Buzz. <laughs> you know, it's almost like the universe is telling us to smoke a fatty. <laughs> no. Let's just give it another hour. Okay. But I'll just leave it here in case we need it. All right, come on, let's focus. Okay. Something about grass stains, maybe? Yeah. New buzz. Cleans things. <laughs> or a jingle with a reggae beat? How about this? New buzz, uh, get your buzz. Oh, what the hell, let's go. Yeah. God, we're bad. Isn't this stuff great? Yeah. This pot is dope. <laughs> oh, why do we always procrastinate? Now we're gonna have to stay up all night. Maybe I should marry Trevor Douglas. Right now, the idea of being able to not work if I didn't want to sounds great. No more slaving away at an office. No. Let someone take care of you for a change. Mmm, darling. You've been at it for hours. <laughs> let me do you now. Oh, just let me spoil you. That's pleasure enough for me. <laughs> he can be good husband material. Especially if he gives good foot. <laughs> bad, bad girl. This is unbelievably delicious. No. No. It's unbelievably delicious. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's focus. Uh, new buzz. First thing that comes to mind. Uh, old buzz? <laughs> Second thing that comes to mind. I'm still hungry. Go get us something from the kitchen. You go. I'm too lazy. I'm lazy, too. Probably too lazy to be Trevor Douglas's wife. Yeah, I get one thing they go across the water. Jay, Jay, this place is a, a pigsty. Like, I don't ask much. Just clean everything up before I get home from the bank. I don't wanna! Housework blows! Oh my god, wait. I've got an idea. Really? Okay. What? Okay, wait, okay. Okay, like, okay, okay. What if the woman in the commercial is this lazy slug like us? And wait. We better take notes on the outside chance this turns out to be brilliant once we come down. Wake up. Wake up! We fell asleep and we still gotta rid our pitch. Okay. Wait. What's our idea? I can't remember. <laughs> Me neither. But I do remember we liked it. Oh, great. We're a couple of morons. No, we're not. Would morons take no? <gasps> okay, read me one. Make appointment for Brazilian wax. <laughs> Holly, come on. Read another one. Mm, don't forget. Don't forget? What the hell could have noticed that? Will you stop yelling at me? This is your hand. Red alert. The evil eye is on the warpath, and she's headed this way, but you didn't hear it from me. Thanks, Patrick. Love you, bye. This is all we need for our brain to bust us. Don't worry, I have my straightened up kit with me, and if absolutely necessary, I have a spare urine sample from my grandma. Universe, 
I know we've squandered too much time, but we are the good guys, and we are trying to fight the banal evil among us. And we promise never to get high at work again. Remember when we promised the universe that we wouldn't have sex on the first day? Shh. <laughs> so please, please help us remember our good idea. Amen. The new buzz meeting was moved up, which was fine at first, until I realized that if you two screw this up, it reflects badly on me. So I demand to hear what you have. Sure. Sure, just like 10 more minutes. An hour at the most. <gasps> you don't have anything, do you? <laughs> oh, Brandaris is gonna love this. So you weren't too lazy to go out to lunch, and you weren't too lazy to show up late. <gasps> the lazy housewife. Thank you, universe. Okay, we see this woman. Living room's in shambles. There's crap everywhere. Probably hasn't cleaned in years. The kids are running wild. And she's lazing around eating one of those foot-long sub sandwiches, but not one of those low-fat ones. And she's watching TV, and then we hear her washer. Ding! She heads off, comes back a millisecond later with this clean, perfectly folded basket. And the announcer goes, New Buzz detergent. Nothing's better at cleaning your clothes. The rest of your life is, is up, up to you. you. <laughs> Real life. I suppose that could be relatable. <laughs> Tell me more. See, I told you getting high would pay off. Oh, please. We've always done great work without the help of our friend Mary Jane. Like that tampon commercial. Everybody in the pool! <laughs> oh, we should have just trusted ourselves and not panicked. Now, we'll never know. You're right. Next time. Let's just sniff the markers. <laughs> oh my God, Hall, it's him. Trevor Douglas. Kai, cute. We should go talk to him. Really? Oh, why not? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh no. He smokes cigarettes. Ew. I can never marry a cigarette smoker. Wedding's off. <laughs> I'm home. Hi. So, um, how was your day? Ah, uh, the huge. <gasps> what happened with oops? Tell me you blew him off. Well, uh, sort of. <laughs> yeah, um, he's asleep in my room. And, um, please don't call him oops anymore. His name is Todd. We're gonna have to find you a better affirmation. <sighs> hey, I couldn't help myself. I mean, I'm a human being and I need sex. Okay, so now you and Todd will have a nice, fun, erotic memory to look back on when you both move on with your lives. He's doing great. He's a personal trainer now, and, and he's in all the right 12-step programs for all of his various addictions. <laughs> now, and what if he really is getting it together finally? I mean, if I want to get married any time in the foreseeable future, Todd is my best prospect. But Sarah... What if he's not the right person? And uh, what about our pact? <laughs> we were 16 when we made that pact. And you're the only one of us who even still believes there is such a thing as a right person. I mean, I've wasted too much time already. <sighs> Look, sometimes we all feel like we've been procrastinating our lives away. We get lonely, and it's easy to panic. But you're just going through a little dry spell, that's all. I honestly believe the real deal is worth waiting for. JJ, Todd loves me. And I am hot for him, and I think I love him too. So ultimately, uh, I don't care what anybody thinks. We're giving this a shot, and I want you to be supportive. You got it, Sarah. But if he messes with you, I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> Hi, bitches! In here! Who wants to keep up? None of us! We're detoxing tonight. Oh, you brought pizza? Pepperoni and sausage. Yay! I'll open a bottle of wine! <laughs> America's Next Top Model is starting. God, I love that deaf girl. <laughs> Even if she is anorexic. <laughs> and why is that? It's not like she can hear people calling her fat. 
Thank you. Kyra's gonna have to give her the don't have an eating disorder talk. God, makes me cry every time. You know, although I kind of have to admit, I wish my hip bones poked out like that. Oh, gross. She looks like a boy. I agree. Girls should look like girls. Yeah. Yeah. You I have been on a girl. You probably could have.